there is at least one interesting storyline, and that is Baker Mayfield. Uh, of course, he was traded to Carolina uh, before the season started. He beat out Sam Darnold for the job, played horribly, then got hurt, and now he's back healthy, but fourth-string quarterback. P.J. Walker is the starter, and uh, Baker Mayfield's coming off the bench behind P.J. Walker tonight. He still may get in. He got in last game because Walker struggled so badly. But this is what I want to ask you, Ephraim, and I don't know if I'm getting ahead of things, if you got some other stuff you want to address about Baker, but what do you see as his future in the NFL? Or maybe immediate future. Like, what do you think happens to him in the offseason and next season? I think personally, when you look around the league and you look at teams that are trying to fill holes uh, at the quarterback position just temporarily, um, there are a few teams out there who, not quite sure they have the guy, are just you know it's a it's a it's a stop. Get away. Wash always Washington. Right, right. right. I mean, they live in that space. That, 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 <laughs> they they own that domain. <laughs> right. So you, right. so you have Washington, you have the Detroit Lions, you have um, the so you the, think they'll the get Orleans, they're ready the to get Orleans off Saints. golf? Uh, yeah, and think I, I, I do. Baker I, might be as good as golf. I, I mean, look at. What a, what, He's he hadn't done anything. Although what, they had the top ranked offense for yeah, a little while, for a little bit, and then reality right so so there, there's always going to be a place look at indianapolis right there's always going to be a place um even you know houston depending on what they want to do with right. with, with, with mills there are going to be right. teams that'll he's the first he's the first pick in the draft there are going to be teams that try to breathe life back into him similar to what carolina tried to do so he'll and, bounce and around. And I mean, you look in Atlanta, Marcus Mariota. Right? That's right. they're gonna get the Mariota. That's treatment. that's okay. that's just what it is. And now he he may go somewhere with more talent. The cupboards are really bare in Carolina. He may go somewhere with, with more talent and get an opportunity to to try to have like a rebirth like Mariota's doing. Um but from here on out, he'll be relegated to being a backup. He'll be seen as kind of a backup quarterback. He's had the reins for several years, and he has had one successful year. And that was with a truckload of talent. Well, Ephraim, what I was saying, and, and I get it, they didn't seem to want him. But I thought, I may have said it during the show with you, I thought the best case scenario for both Baker and the Browns was if they kept him until Deshaun Watson was ready. Right. And he he had to swallow some pride and be there knowing he was going to lose the job. But if – and I think – I don't know. I mean, maybe he wouldn't have done a better job than Jacoby Brissett. But I think he would have. And had he had that team, Ephraim, which is a good team. Oh, it's a good team. Had he had yeah, them yeah. – right, they're much better than their record. Had he had them by the time Deshaun was ready to take over, Let's say he had them a game above 500. I think teams around the league, some of them might have looked at him and said, you know what? He, he's leading them essentially to the playoffs. And so we're, you know, he's a guy we can take a chance on. Versus, and I agree with what you're saying, like teams might view him as a stopgap. He might get a chance to fight for a starting job mm-hmm. on a team that's desperate for a quarterback. Or... They're viewing him as a backup. You can come in and back up so-and-so. So I thought it would have been best. Now, again, I I don't think the Browns wanted him. It, had he gone there humbly to them and said, look, let's, I think this is good for both of us. Um, I won't make a fuss. But he he was in his pride. Well, And so he yep. couldn't do it. And now you see his situation. The great thing about this happening this year with Baker Mayfield, the Browns, where he is now, is we have a parallel situation that we can look at. That parallel situation is the San Francisco 49ers. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. And Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Discord that was it. Jimmy Garoppolo made a goodbye message to the fans. Yep. Like, hey, love you guys. You know, it wasn't derogatory. It wasn't he wasn't in his feelings. It just right. it was a business, right? That we're gonna move on. And they were trying to find a trade. They were trying to do it didn't work out. He was gonna make twenty three million dollars. Can't keep yep. both quarterbacks, and you're making that as a backup. So amicably, they went to, to you know to each other, and they said, "Hey, look, this is what we want to do." And he said, "Look, okay, I, I, okay, yep, I, professional, I, 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 be professional, and it's gonna work out in his favor, right? It's gonna work out I, in his I favor. I totally agree. So he now went from a situation where." He may have been relegated to that backup role because you got to remember, Jimmy Garoppolo started as a backup. He wasn't right. the first pick in the draft. He didn't come out with all the hoopla and all the the, the the pomp and the circumstance. He was a guy who, you know, when Tom Brady went down, he came in and did some good things. Then he went to the Niners and did some good things. Right. Injuries up, down, up, down. He's been to, what, two NFC Championship games? Yeah, and one Super Bowl. Right? So – I mean, those are the two years he's been healthy. Right. He's been to the NFC title. Right. Game. So so now he's putting himself in a situation with the San Francisco 49ers, who, oh, by the way, just added a huge piece that's going to propel them uh, this year with Christian McCaffrey. We've already seen that pay dividends. Right. Um, and, and take some of that pressure off Jimmy. So now you, you're in a situation where if Baker would have stayed professional – we could have been uh, had a similar situation. Yep. And 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 in um Cleveland, but he wasn't. He was in his feelings. He was mad. Yep. All kinds of things came out, it just gruntle, whatever that may be. And so now you're in a situation where it this is you know, boys to men, right? End of the road. <laughs> for for us now now he'll be in the league for three, four, five, six more years as a backup. Gonna make some money, right? That's not gonna be the problem. But him getting the keys Oh, yeah. To a no. franchise. Those days. Brother, are over. those that, that's that's gone. Yep. Those days are over. And, and look, I will give him this because I thought prior to this season, his attitude would have kept him out of the league. <laughs> right. Like, you know, yeah. like yeah, 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 yeah. he thought he was all that. He thought he was getting the short end of the stick. He thought he should be not only a starter, but a, a pro bowler, all that stuff. And he had that attitude about him, that aura, to use Cam Newton's words, even though obviously he wasn't as successful as Cam. And I think that's the last thing you want from your backup quarterback. Oh, you can't have Now, it. like the way he even went to Carolina and handled the competition with Sam Darnold, he was cool. Uh, he got, to me, he got a little bit, he kind of went, he reverted back like, the, remember before they played the Browns, he released those T-shirts off mm -hmm. the leash. I mean, it didn't work out well for him. Um, I think, though, now, at least right now, now we'll see if he has a relapse, but accepting this role behind P.J. Walker, who you know he thinks he's better than, all of that type of stuff, Ephraim, is helping him for next year. Like, it's leading teams to say we could bring him in as a backup. Mm-hmm. We, we need to push this starter. We need to, whatever that may be, he'll be relegated. Somebody gets hurt, he'll step in for right. a couple weeks. It'd be one of those. You know, what's going to happen is a team with a good uh, a starting quarterback, right? Like someone. Uh, that he's not even like. It's not even a threat. There's no controversy. Like I could, right I could see it like in Minnesota with behind Kirk Cousins. Right, right. Right? right. In Buffalo behind Josh right. Allen. Right and look, that's how tr now Trubisky. He's probably to that point now where he's done as a starter. But he, he and Mariota, right, learn yes. for a year yep. behind a guy that's better and and got another shot. Got another shot. I don't shot. know if Baker. I don't know if he'll get that because he, no. you know, he's just immature. Um, look, this but, man, this man was the first pick in the draft. And he came in the league with a chip on his shoulder. I'm like, wait yeah, a minute, right. man. What is? What are you right. talking about? <laughs> How you have a chip on your shoulder? You the first pick in the draft. That was definitely from his, you know, the way he grew and developed. But, but I he get it. He needed a chip like, on his shoulder at every other level, yeah, but, but you what, would overcome that. But once you ascend that, once, once right. you get there, hey, right. man, let that go. No doubt. That's like me having a chip on my shoulder in year 13 is the same. 
I had when when in in year one when I was a seventh round right. draft pick, 199th pick. <laughs> the chip got me to stay in the league for over a decade. Right. Right. Like that. I don't know. I don't. I wasn't going into the season in year ten. The, the, like you, come on, man. I had accomplished so many things. I had evolved. Right. I had been, like what? What are we doing? What do you? You brought up Garoppolo. What do you think next season? I mean, you think he'll be elsewhere? I, I think they're the best. I don't know. Look, I think San Francisco, Philly, and Dallas are the three best teams in the NFC. The, um, the thing that keeps Garoppolo in San Francisco, if they go to the Super Bowl, right, and I'm not saying win. If they win it, it is no way he's leaving. But if they go to the Super Bowl, all right, and he plays well, he does his thing, now you gotta ha- you gotta make a real you gotta make a real decision. Mm. You gotta make a real, and I know you got a very small sample size of Trey Lance. Right, it ain't that good. <laughs> it's not that good, man. I and you know, look, I'm pulling for the kid. Right. He's young, he's inexperienced. This injury is gonna set him back even more. Those pieces, yeah. those pieces you brought in Christian McCaffrey, Kittle, oh no, those, those, they, Debo right. Samuel, they're getting older. Right. They're not trying to. Your time is now. Right. And next year, you know, no doubt. Because McCaffrey is injury prone as it is. Hey, man, how long so are we going to be able to ride this? Right. right. Now, it's going to be interesting. And the bottom line is if they don't keep him, the Giants, oh. maybe the Patriots, I don't know. You know, but there, there's going to be suitors. If you're close and have weapons elsewhere, he, you can do much worse than Jimmy oh, G. Oh, much so. worse.